Today I'm going to show you a knot that I actually just learned off of another channel. Uh, I actually have never seen this knot before and it's a shame because this is actually a very very good rigging knot. So what we're going to be looking at here is a fixed loop knot uh, such as stuff like you know the alpine butterfly or the farmer's loop. There's various different mid loops that you can do but this particular one in certain instances can be better than those. So first let me show you how to tie it. So the way you form this knot is you pretty much you choose your center line where you want your loop to be. We're going to go out a length on each side and we're going to create two overhand loops like so. And then we're going to slip them together and we'll pull this portion of the loop down. Then all you have to do is swing it up, go right in between those two loops and then dress the knot up. And now you have created this mid loop knot. Now the benefit to this one over something like the Alpine butterfly loop is the fact that because of the way it's tied, uh, once it becomes unloaded, this one breaks apart incredibly easily. So basically it's a lock onto a slip knot. So it's pretty much what it is. It's just, just it's a lock slip knot is how I kind of think of it. Now, this one would also make a pretty decent for rope pull, but if you can see if I pull on the two ends, the working end and the standing end of this rope, you can kind of see that the, the loop kind of gets twisted. So this would not be the best knot for, uh, an example would be if you're trying to uh, isolate a, a tear or, or a cut or a fray in the rope, uh, it'd probably better use Alpine butterfly loop. But as a rigging loop, this one is so much better because the alpine butterfly and a number of other loops can get very very tight when they are uh, loaded up and they can be very difficult to untie the beauty of this one is it is super simple to untie even after you load it up so again it's just a couple overhand loops pull them together slide this loop down send it right back through and then you can dress the knot up and you have it so I think we'll call this one because, uh, you know, I, again, I haven't been able to find it uh, in, the, in the Ashley Book of Knots. That doesn't mean it's not there. It's just I haven't found it yet. To me, this is kind of what I would think of as a rigger's loop. Uh, but if you know the proper name for this, if you've seen this knot before, I'd appreciate it if you put it in the comments below because uh, this is the first time that I've actually ever seen it. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.